we just left that other spot where we saw the jakes drove by one of these ranch fields that we've got permission and there's one literally like right over the top of this hill so we're gonna ease up sneak over the top and just try to use the strutter get close on him and uh, see if we can get a shot but it looks like there's a couple hens with him we've already seen another group kind of work over the hill but we think there's still one more down low with a couple hens so we're just gonna try to ease over the top of this hill and then hopefully it'll uh, work out we'll see Finally see him. Uh, oh man, he about got away. Uh, no guarantees on the film job. <laughs> what does that mean? Huh? Did you be the press record? No, it's recording now. Shoot, but I failed. <laughs> oh man. More to go. All right, we got two down. Two more down, I guess. And so we need two more. We saw three 
Longbeards, as soon as we got here on the far side of the ridge, they're chasing hens down to the bottom of the, I guess, gully here. So we're skirting all the way around. And there's an old road on this top up here. We're going to go set up, put the strutter out, and see if they can work up to us. So we'll see what happens. We're trying to hurry around, get in front of them, set up. We'll call a little bit, and then hopefully they'll start feeding up towards us before dark. We'll set up, see what happens. sitting here cut all these limbs out got set up this morning a bird flew down went the opposite direction about 100 200 yards away from us followed his hens out of the field didn't have any luck so we know we're sitting really close to the roost we're hoping he comes back and uh, we're just gonna sit here and wait till dark hopefully they'll show up Man, I mean, what are the odds of getting one deal from this side? I mean, we have to have one deal the whole time you've been on that side. The reality, so that's the thing, he's dog the whole time. The whole time. He's up there on top walking around. So that's, that's what I'm saying. So then I'm thinking, well, we got his pass block. Why is he, why is he going down? And he didn't have to, but he had a better look than we do. That's a... Uh, Three-year-old. Ooh, yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. Huh? That's crazy. <laughs> That's some hooks. Some big hooks. It's the redhead. Just people. can't get a break. <laughs> I didn't think he was gonna come out. 
literally gobble on that eel for what 30 minutes every time it's done tagged out did you get it off film maybe i was waiting for you to turn the camera on <laughs> You were pretty. Told me to turn it off. Turn it off. Well, that's what I, that's I kept what. trying to get those hens fighting each other, and then I, I was trying to get the sound for the gobble when it thundered because it was so close. But I never could catch it right. And by the time I got it, it and then when I saw I first saw that hen first, I thought it was him. I said, "No, no." And then this time when I saw his head, I said, that's got to be him. I couldn't see his beard, but I said, that's got to be him. And then he was just yeah, I saw, his, I saw his beard a couple of times. Well, that's what we need, the last one. Pack it up. Uh, <laughs> and you got your orange flag out. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure nobody gets you. All right, last day here. Finally made it happen. Sitting up here, worked right down. He was really gobbling. We were sitting right here. Gobbled right here and walked down to this spot. <laughs> Sat there forever putting. We thought he'd ran off. He ended up coming up down here and then walking out to the decoy finally. So awesome hunt but all right we're headed south we're gonna see if we can uh get one or two more on the way home and keep keep traveling so came in the last second there's bruce back there pack mule carry my bird for me